Robert Manson con un premio assegnato ma in realtà ne riceve due solo che pesano quindi non c'è possibilità di dargli tutte e due in mano perché vince sia nella sezione corti cortissimi con The Silver Bow e poi menzione speciale alla giuria in sezione mondo corto con Time Passing. Contento, doppia vittoria. Sì, è fantastico, sì, ogni internazionale award, questo è stato il mio primo, quindi è quello che lo rende extra speciale. Come da Italy, as well, best place for receiving an award like this, I think. Um, so I'm doubly pleased with the, the special mention and the best short in the very short film category. Come nasce il regista Robert Manson, artisticamente parlando? Well, I, I'm, I come from a very kind of artistic uh, family. Both my parents are painters. Um, and my father does a lot of uh, art direction, you know, props and things like that, and production design on films. So I've been on set all my life, pretty much. Um, And I just went into a film college in, Ar in Ireland and uh, just took it from there really. So Silver Bow was my first film. I got some uh, stock off a director, a friend of mine called Lance in Dublin and just went out and made something pretty simply in the streets of Dublin. Prossimi impegni per Robert Manson. What about your future plans? Future plans? Uh, I just started up a film company in Ireland. So we we're trying to make ourselves uh, self-sufficient uh, with the current financial crisis and we're doing quite well. In that, in that sector. So uh, it's pretty much hurting everybody in Dublin and in Ireland except for us because we can kind of, we have the means to make our own projects. So it's exciting and we're just working on that pretty much. A quale dei due corti si sente più legato? Um, yeah, I prefer the silver bow, obviously, um, because, you know, I come from a very visual kind of background. So, um, yeah, I think that's more of a kind of visual translation of a story and it, it works it's more kind of simple and pure i think uh, the second film is based on a kind of word of mouth story that i heard from an art director called bill fallover and uh, i kind of adapted a story that he told but in my own kind of sense so uh, it didn't really give me the same visual or stylistic freedom i think i was kind of under some constraints for that one so i think the silver bow is my favorite one yeah